Hey guys, what's up? I want to show you some changes that they made to the 2018 Ram 1500, uh, the radio display. So, the last generation of display for this truck uh, was a resistive touchscreen. So, it took quite a bit of physical pressure to actually register your touch. Uh, they've changed the display for 2018, so it's no longer resistive, it's capacitive. Which basically just means you can touch the screen, and a second your, your finger registers, uh, it it registers that touch. Where before you had to put physical pressure on the screen, so you had to push pretty hard. But with this truck, uh, it's much quicker, navigation's much easier. The same basic layout carries over from, uh, well, my last truck was 16, so from 16 to 17, the same basic layout carries over. Um, but the colors look nicer. The screen looks nicer. Uh, even the backup camera, the colors are nicer. It's more vibrant. It's just a better display. It just looks like a more high-quality display. The biggest change that they've made is they've added Android Auto capability. So as soon as you plug your phone in, which I've got it plugged in right here, I'm actually recording with the phone, so you can't see uh, where I've got it plugged into the phone. But this icon changes from a phone icon to the Android icon. So when the Android icon pops up, you press it, and it goes to this Android Auto app. Uh, it has a couple options. The, the nicest is the navigation. So as soon as you press the button over here for navigation, Google Maps loads up. And it's actually streaming from your phone right into the display. So the display is not handling it, and your phone's actually handling it. Uh, you can enter destinations. It works just like a regular navigation system. So if you have an Android phone, don't bother upgrading to the, the navigation that Mopar offers. I think it's like 600 bucks. You don't have to have it because uh, it just comes on your phone and you can use it with this Android Auto app. Also, I've got the phone icon. So um, you press that and you've got your recent apps or your recent calls. Uh, and then the dialer. Press the center and it's just a home button. This one right here is for music, so as soon as you press that, whatever music app that you have will load. I've actually got a Spotify, so as soon as you press that, the Spotify account comes up, which is pretty cool. Press that button center to go back home, and at any point you can just press any other uh, application across the bottom, and it comes right out of it, so pretty easy to go back to it. And the navigation will still work. Let's say if you're on the radio and you've got a, a turn coming up, it'll still uh, alert you. Still get your phone calls and everything, even if this application isn't open, which is pretty cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave some comments. Uh, thanks for watching.